When I was 12 years old, I liked surfing the internet for any program to customize how my computer looked. It was 2008 and I had a laptop from 2005 running Windows XP. I wanted to make it look like Windows Vista, which I saw at a computer store and amazed me just because of how it looked. I found many things, one of them being a site called crystalxp.net. Crystal XP has some programs called Brico Packs that with a simple installer can add a new theme, wallpapers and more. The one that made Windows XP look like Vista is called Vista Inspirat. Or maybe that's Vista Inspirate? I have no idea. Crystal XP is a French website, so maybe it's called uh, Vista Inspira? I don't know. Anyway, sometime this year in 2017, I decided to check out Crystal XP again. Unfortunately, the site went down recently, so I can only show you archive.org screenshots, which didn't save the style sheets. I read the warnings more thoroughly, now that my English is a little bit better than it was nine years ago. It mentioned it doesn't work on 64-bit versions of Windows. Back then I didn't even know what that meant, but I installed it without any problems, obviously because I didn't have 64-bit Windows XP. But something I didn't notice back in the day was when it mentioned it doesn't work with already modified versions of Windows. It mentions gold, but it obviously doesn't mean gold XP 2016 by computer worm that's known today. More notably, it also mentions LSD. I'd never heard of that, but I thought that was a weird name for a Windows XP modification. So I looked it up. It's a French modified version of Windows XP. I found this forum post from November 2005 describing the features and modifications, and this article from August 2006 which rhetorically asks if it's for drug addicts. Apparently this version is supposed to be more speedy, especially on low-end systems. It took me a while to find a download for it, but then I did. This is version 3.7, which I think is the latest one they made. It mentions a fix for Pentium 4 processors with hyper-threading, as well as real dual-core processors, which in 2006 were not low-end at all. It's a little underwhelming, but it does include a lot of modifications I haven't seen before in other XP mods, which is why I wanted to make a video about it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any crazy LSD-like visual effects, but I think it does under the hood. You'll see why. The first part of the setup is mostly the same as any French version of Windows XP. But then we get this. It's mentioning all these improvements. Back then, SSDs were more primitive and weren't popular. So the only way to significantly speed up your computer was by using these sketchy modifications of Windows, which are not a great idea, as you'll see later. Suddenly, it comes up with this command prompt window warning you not to close it, asking you if you have a Pentium 4 with hyper-threading or a dual-core processor. The first time I said no because I have a Core i7, and while it does have hyper-threading, I don't think it would be virtualized, but the OS refused to boot up after that, so I had to reinstall and say yes. Then it asks you if you want some additional wallpapers, so of course I said yes. Then this weird window popped up prompting me to create a user account. And the reason they warn you not to install Crystal XP Brico Packs on Windows XP LSD is that Windows XP LSD already comes with them. This is the Vista Inspirat theme, which has WinLSD plastered on the login screen, but otherwise is about the same as the Brico Pack, except for the start button. But if you like the crystal clear Brico Pack, you're out of luck. The setup mentioned that it integrates the latest updates for your maximum security. That's lovely. But how about future updates? Well, turns out automatic updates are automatically disabled, and the Windows Security Center is also disabled. Oh, the police! No, Everything all right, see ya? I'm disabled! <laughs> that doesn't sound like maximum security to me. At least you can re-enable them easily. In the start menu, there's this WinLSD section that contains the services, which sounds kind of fine in English, but in French it's totally normal. In fact, the All Programs menu is called The Programs. Anyway, this section has a lot of registry modifications to re-enable some services like Windows Security Center. 
but it gets even better. I wanted to install the unofficial Windows XP Service Pack 4, which installs Service Pack 3, some more updates, and enables the POS Ready patch to get security updates until April 2019. But it comes up with this warning saying I have a modified kernel, which is supposedly this optimized kernel for Pentium 4 hyperthreading. Even the screensaver tells you it's optimized. So I thought of just updating Windows little by little using Windows Update. Some updates installed, but most of them failed without explanation, including Service Pack 3. The reason is probably the same. This third-party kernel has broken almost every update. And all of this for 5 seconds faster startup? I don't think this is a good idea. Obviously, this OS was designed for more knowledgeable power users. But even back then, having an unpatched system connected to the internet Put your computer and files at risk. If you like modified operating systems, install a Linux distribution. Don't screw around with Windows because you'll often get side effects like this. The way LSD is plastered almost everywhere on this operating system may be a little unsettling. It doesn't affect me personally, but I mean, do you really want to have your computer boot up with a huge LSD writing on the screen and the picture of a syringe? Let's end this video by destroying this virtual machine. Let's install a Brico pack on Windows XP LSD. There are probably English versions of Windows XP that have these kernel optimizations as well, but I haven't encountered them, and I doubt they have a more interesting name than WinLSD. This has been my little adventure with it. As I said, I think original versions of Windows are the best, because they don't block updates, and if you want a modified operating system, you should install a Linux distro instead. Still, WinLSD was certainly interesting, and it taught me something old and new at the same time. If you have any thoughts, suggestions or questions, please tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching.